Hi. It's Pat again. Thank you for coming back. Thank you to the new subscribers. Ah, here we go. This is... This is the fifth in an ongoing series of storytelling. This one is very interesting. Um, it's a tin can collector dialogue. And um, when I started writing, I called on my, my guides, my muses, to um, tell me a story. And this one just popped up. And it was unusual to me too, so I just started writing, and here's what uh, here's what came out. It's the story of a person talking about their life as a tin can collector. So here we go. Finally. Perfect pile of tin cans. Tin cans are hard to find in the corners because the gang of other collectors comes early for them and wind easily sweeps the empty cans so much lighter into the corners. They're a hot spot. Better hurry up now be before the others come and find this cash. I wonder how much I can get for these. I wonder if they are already clean. It's extra work to clean them. And plus have to elbow my space for the cleaning spot. Finding clean cans saves time and money, which is more for me. I've been hurting looking for cans for well past a decade now. Can expert, that's me. Can tell quality cans for miles. Dented is okay. Rusted is a waste of time. Any with copper trim is like you found gold right there on the street. Don't ask how I got here. A long time ago, I was more at the front end of the tin industry, in the mining part. Pay was good. Life was good for having an exact skill like that. But the hole got filled, and the skill couldn't find a new landing. And now that the hole is filled in, they want to get as much of the end product as they can. Tins again and again. I nearly stopped though when I heard they were going into things like war stuff, weapons. You'd think I would have known that even back then. Now I hear they use the stuff to build prosthetics. Don't know too many stories from the tin gang. It might be true, it might not. Maybe they were just, you know, pulling my leg. Sometimes it's all I can do to stay with doing it, but I get food. You want food, you do what you have to. Right now, I have 30 pounds of the stuff. That is going to give me room and food. I might even get fish with the chips then. Ooh, look. Today is my lucky day. The wind is blowing in my direction. I might make 40 pounds today, rent a room for a whole month. Life is good. Life is good. Look, it isn't like I don't have places I could go, but the pride won't let me. As long as I can, can. I laugh at myself. I will can. But let me tell you about my luckiest day. It's as if I heard a voice calling. Now, I walked past that abandoned house, I don't know, every day practically. But on that special day, 
It's as if I heard a voice calling me into that house. Well, not quite a voice, you get me? Well, it was like a pull, like metal to a magnet. I took my time and even called out because I swear it was like someone was calling. There was no answer. And I went around the back and sure enough, pushed in the back door. It was easy enough to get in. The place was very still. And I mean, it looked like some place that hadn't been taken care of for a long time. I still heard the call though. So I kept following it. It was in what used to be the kitchen. And the more I listened, the closer I got to a cabinet just beyond the kitchen in a wide hallway. It was covered over with newspapers, looking like it had been taped over for years. I couldn't even read any of the dates on the papers that covered over the cabinet. Well, I'd come this far, so why not? I felt under the papers and found the latch, and I opened it. And I'm telling you, it must have been angels, because inside was a set of tobacco cans. Now, I'm not a collector of antiques, just a collector of recyclable tin. But these were five pristine tobacco tins. I knew right away because there's a member of the Tim gang that used to talk about the days when she might hit the jackpot herself. Yes, this was my day. I carefully collected up the tins and eventually found an antique dealer who didn't ask questions. Listen, those five cans kept me in shelter and food, oh, for the better part of a year. I still remember the sweetness of it. It was a high point in my career. I sometimes walk past that place wishing it could happen again, but that old house has been demolished. They sell cars there now.